We are back from Nashville. We had an amazing time and we are going to kind of talk about our trip for a little bit. We made a whole list of how we're going to talk about it and then I'm going to totally just do it out of order. But that's how it goes. We went to Nashville to go to the Homesteaders of America conference. Yep. So that was um, super exciting. We don't ever travel, honestly. <laughs> We've only been on like five trips ever <laughs> in our marriage. But um, we decided a couple weeks ago that we were just going to go ahead and get on the airplane and go travel and go to this conference and to meet some really cool people and learn a bunch of things. But it was the Homesteaders of America Business Blogger Conference. And we got to meet um, Justin and Rebecca Rhodes was just, ah, it was so amazing. They have like a Netflix-like platform called Abundance Plus. And um, they have their own shows and they put on shows of people that they, um, they think would be good for their platform. So it's like a different kind of Netflixy kind of platform, but it's for like homesteading videos. So, you know, like canning or food preservation or anything like that, you know, you might be able to see those things like on a cool platform like Abundance Plus. Anyways, so we got to meet them while we were down there. And then we also got to meet Jill Wigner, um, which her blog used to be called um, The Prairie Homestead, and now it's kind of getting switched over to Old Fashioned on Purpose, but she is the reason I like feel comfortable pressure canning. So I had done her classes and did her canning classes and learned all the things years ago by watching her and being a part of her homesteady um, like cooking community and it's just been so much fun so to be able to meet her while we were down there like that was like one of my true heroes like I know when you think of like oh I want to meet somebody famous you know that's like most people say like TV actors or whatever like she, up there on my list like top of my list of, of people so I totally did that out of order but that's what felt right so that's what I did so while we were there um, we stayed in the Airbnb whenever yep. we travel we um we normally travel by car more than flying. Um. <laughs> what? Where are we going that we need a plane? Where are we going? Come on. Hawaii. <laughs> when we travel, most of the time we'll rent Airbnb so we have a kitchen and we're able to cook. And so I have found this Airbnb that was like seven minutes away from everything. It was so cool. Well, besides the conference, <laughs> but um, those days we had to travel. But it was like, it felt like it was downtown, but it was gated. And um, it was it, far enough away. Yeah, yeah, and there was a code to get in and, and everything. So everything just totally felt safe. Like the whole time we just totally felt safe. Anyways, this um, Airbnb we stayed in was like a Civil War era um, tobacco barn, which was just, it was so cool. It was like four stories tall. We were on the third story. Yeah, third story. It was a brick building. Super cool. Right when you walked in, you could tell. It smelled like the leaves. It had like tobacco smell, like a hint of it uh, right away. But right when you walked in, you could smell it. But then after you couldn't, but it was kind of a, it was like a pleasant smell. Was, yeah. Yeah. Not like cigarettes. It was, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was really nice. Like an earthy kind of smell. Like a good smell. It was good. I don't know. It was good. Super cool. Like super urban, super like the decor, everything was awesome. It was there awesome. was graffiti yeah. on the walls. There was graffiti on the walls, on the inside. I didn't show him pictures before we left. So he got to see the graffiti on the bedroom wall for the first time when he walked into the bedroom and it was kind of funny. This is where the magic happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I honestly probably picked that Airbnb over the other ones that were available because of that graffiti because I just thought it was fun. And then there was another, um, oh, he was all excited because it's an old building and uh, the mirror like opened up and he was super excited thinking oh, that maybe. <laughs> I noticed these hinges on the side of the mirror and I'm like, hinges and I'm like looking and so then I like I start to pull the mirror open and I'm like what I was like, expecting like a secret passage or something but it was the you know the fuse the circuit breaker panel uh, that they were hiding so it was <laughs> but it was cool. it was a good it was idea, good, good, great <laughs> idea. And he was super excited hoping it was like a secret passageway because that's like his favorite thing in the world <laughs> <laughs> secret passages yep. we are in our Airbnb it's like bricked walled it smells good in here it does. It kind of, yeah, it smells, it smells like tobacco leaves, which doesn't smell like cigarettes at all. But anyways, the lighting like makes us look really yellow. So my teeth are not this yellow. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the lighting. Got a dim lighting here. I don't know. Like the ocean lights, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's a cool chandelier. Here, can we see? There. You can see it, but anyways. And it has a cool um, 
frameless TV. That artwork over there is TV. Anyways, and it switches to whatever you want. Yeah, the place is really cool. Anyways, yeah, so we are here for a couple more days. We've been checking out a lot of the live music in the evenings, and um, that's been fun. Mike especially loves that. Yeah, love so. live music. <laughs> yeah, we've just been having a good time. So the first night we were there, we checked into the Airbnb, and then just right down the street, like everything was right down the street, it felt like um, there was a Whole Foods. So we went and got some groceries right there at the very beginning the conference mm -hmm. started like at 7 30 the next morning which felt like 4 30 to us in the morning and then we got groceries at whole foods and um we got a chicken pot pie which it was really lovely really good yeah chicken pot pie really good and um we brought that back to the um to the airbnb and with some produce and different things so i was telling somebody else earlier that the chicken pot pie was so good and it was like twelve dollars like it wasn't bad it was way cheaper than going out and getting dinner somewhere out mm -hmm. yeah. and bringing it back it but, was big it was it was like yeah, a full size pie. pie but when i got thinking about it later like if i was home and i made that chicken pot pie it probably would have cost around twelve dollars depending on what i had but i would have made four of them and i would have put three in the freezer for later <laughs> so yeah, um, just the the mindset was different like at the time like that pot pie was way cheaper than going out for a meal which we did go out a lot but if i was home and i was going to make something i would have made one for home and three for the freezer and probably spent the same amount of money and had four dinners out of it. So anyways, that's something that I guess I need to do in a recipe or something soon um, to teach you guys Popeye. how to do I wouldn't turn on Popeye. You wouldn't turn on Popeye. No. Anyways, but the funny thing is, is so I go to produce stands. I do, um, I, you know, I do a lot of produce. I grow a lot of produce. I like farm stands, like all the things. I have never, ever in my life seen okra. Ever, ever. In my whole entire life, there is not okra here <laughs> in our area. Like, if you were to line up random vegetables, I would not. He I, was I, looking at the collard greens. I thought, I thought it was collard. I, I didn't know. I didn't know. So I'm like at the store, like taking pictures of the okra. This other lady thought I was like crazy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. What is this? I know. I knew, I mean, I knew what it was, but I used to teach preschool Head Start way back when we first got married, like. 24 years ago. 20, yeah. How many years ago? Well, we got married 24 years ago, but I technically started teaching preschool before then, so. But the story is, is 24 well, years since ago. we've been married. It is. 24 years mm -hmm. ago. One of the little boys in my class only ate one vegetable and the parents were freaking out because they couldn't find them, especially in our small town. But then we found out you just can't find it in Washington, really, especially 24 years ago. But she, he only ate okra and they had just moved to go to WSU and they were so worried because their preschool age kid, that was the only vegetable that he liked. It was the only thing that they he would eat. But, and so um, I remember like trying to call around to stores and do stuff and try to help the family and there was just there was no okra and at the time there was like practically no internet either so I couldn't right, even right. look up and see what they look like so yeah I, that was a little while ago a little while ago but I remember them um saying they look like ladies fig fingers or witches fingers is what she had told me um what they look like so we we looked all week so i saw the okra i didn't want to buy them because we didn't have any spices and stuff um at the airbnb to like try to make them myself but um we went to cracker barrel because you have to go to cracker barrel when you're in the south it feels like so i did get to try fried okra for the first time me too while i was down there yeah mm -hmm. anyways that was now we know what it tastes like and we know what it looks like. And a bunch of followers have told us like all different kinds of ways of to cook it? storing it. Yeah. Oh, and, storing it. Yeah. And somebody had even given a suggestion today um, of where we might be able to find it. So we might be able to grow Ooh. it for next year. So kind of fun. You can grow it here? I don't know. Oh, but I'm kind of wondering if my mom can because my mom lives in a different climate than we do here in the Seattle side. Hmm. So Speaking of climate. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a good leeway. Look at that. Mm -hmm. He like had it right there next on our list too. What was the climate? <laughs> Freezing. <laughs> it was so cold. I'm not talking about it was just cold. Like it was, you know, 34 degrees or something. It was like 19. 17, yeah, 19, 17 degrees. It snowed one day. Went over there. One day we were outside because we just wanted to get out of the the room where the conference was. Like 
at the break time, but we were standing outside talking to a family from Texas, so they were cold too. <laughs> and we were sitting there, and everybody just wanted some fresh air and stuff. Yeah. And Mike's his water bottle, he's like holding yeah. it, it's, it's just so shaking. Cold. But yeah. I will take cold over rain yep. any day, like any day ever, ever, like rain and blue skies. <laughs> One of the days. We were down there, we were in Lynchburg, we'll talk about that in a second, but we were in Lynchburg and it was blue skies and I was just like looking around because I'm from the Seattle area. If the mountain, if the, there's no clouds in the sky, you're looking for the mountain. You know when you're from Washington when there's blue skies and you haven't seen them in months, but you're automatically like searching for where the mountain is and you forget that you're in Nashville and Tennessee and not in Seattle. Like the mountain just like feeds my soul. <laughs> But, but for sure, the dry cold is way better than the soggy rain that we, we normally have. Yeah. So while we were down there, we went to the Country Music Hall of Fame. And that was somewhere that um, Missy, one of the followers here on The Cross Legacy, she had sent me a whole list of places that we should go, um, which was really nice. So we really were thankful those first days to like have places that we were so, that we could go. and Because um, I didn't have much time to do much research before we went down there. I had something I took a picture of um, for my mom um, because I remember her talking about it. It's a little bit before my time, so anybody older um, might know. But I took a picture of the costume and the hat for Minnie Pearl with the price tag hanging down so I could show my mom because she would be excited for that because I remember her talking about the hat with the price tag um, all the time. If you're younger than me, then you probably don't know at all what I'm talking about. But speaking of that, that's a little bit older, but he he has this kind of funny story from this morning. So, so I was talking about, I, I, I went back to work today, well, virtually, my nine to five job, and I was talking about my trip as people were asking and stuff, and I told them about going to the Music Hall of Fame Museum and seeing the car Bandit from Smokey and the Bandit, driven by Burt Reynolds, and I, I got- Nothing. No, I got blank stares, like people were like, they didn't know what I was talking about. It was kind of hilarious that people were, like the only thing I got was like, we're talking about Burt Reynolds at 9.30 in the morning, like what's going on? But um, it was just kind of funny. It's it's one of those shows that I think is, for me, it's like iconic, but for, you know, maybe younger younger people, they have no idea what <laughs> the show is or whatever. I don't know. I, just, I, I think it's, a, it's, I still crack up and watch it and get excited every time I see the, see the yeah, show. Yeah, whenever he sees it on, on TV, he always sits there and watches yeah. it. It cracks me up. But <laughs> I don't watch the whole thing as much as he does, like... I like the music and stuff, but... Yeah, you don't watch any movies straight through. I barely. don't really. I'm on Instagram answering all your questions. I, <laughs> I'm, like, focused on usually things. Amy is, like, doing, like, 19 things at once. <laughs> the Gambler, Kenny Rogers, like, when I was growing up, that was, mm -hmm. like, a huge song in my life that all of us cousins used to sing together at my um, grandma's house. We'd play the record, like, over and over and over again. Um, and then just to see, like, you know, Dolly Parton up on the Hall of Fame, and it was her birthday while we were down there, so, like, just... Fun kind of things like that. Yeah, a lot, a lot of cool things to see. And all the sure. gold records. Um, like there was two or three stories oh. high of all the yeah. gold and platinum records. And that was just neat to see. Like as many as you can. You can't even count that many. There yeah. were so many gold and uh, platinum records that it was... It was crazy. Yeah. And then while we were there, right next to there is the Hat Show Printing Press. And so that is where all the like the movie posters and stuff have been made. Or like, not movie posters, like concert posters. And um, for the last 140 years. Um, So to see them making those posters, like the same way that they've made for 140 years. Like, I just don't feel like Washington, we have history like that. History doesn't seem like it goes that far back. You know what I mean? Like, it's, we have some things locally but it seems like yeah it seems like when you get past like a hundred years a hundred years it's it was pretty um not very much going on here so anyways but um so that was kind of cool that was like something that was history and old and um it was kind of right there i'm gonna I, we have some notes and i'm gonna skip ahead but the um ryman auditorium we got to see the outside of that too which was really cool we didn't get to go inside but that was right in that downtown area too of broadway which was like seven minutes away from where we were standing staying and um that's where the grand old opry used to be i uh, was originally at so that was cool just to know like all the history of of that and then um oh there was this uh food hall assembly and it was just like it was kind of like a courtyard of food yeah kind of like a like 
similar. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Like from a mall. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. A food court at a mall. Yeah. But it had like all the restaurants that were famous there. And so he got. The hot chicken. Prince's hot chicken. Was it hot? It was, it was pretty hot. And my, but mine wasn't even like. (laughs) That's what I was going to say. Mine wasn't. She doesn't call me anyway. I'm not a big, huge spice. I'm not like, give me the hottest thing ever. No, 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 no. I got like. baby spice. I got like. (laughs) I got. The, the like light mild not even mi- not even like I was gonna go for the mild and she talked me into the light mild I'm kind of <laughs> glad she did because I would have had to get another something to drink some ice cream or something afterwards but um, it was really good really good so they're kind of famous for that I got a hamburger at the pharmacy like we ate out like a lot while we were down there but um it was called the pharmacy and it like had crispy onion rings and the best bacon on it ever so that was that was definitely a really good place and that was in that courtyard area too and then um we went to like the broadway area that's where you see all the neon signs and yeah. stuff and so we were hanging out there in the evenings a little bit i always joke it was like there's like the 40 and older you know you sit in the tables and the- <laughs> away from people and not up in crowds and stuff but we got to meet um tammy and lance um who are followers so that was fun yeah it was really fun they showed us uh we went to uh, a place called old red and they know the band uh it was great it was a great experience yeah the band had flew in from california and then tammy and lance lived there and so we got to meet tammy and lance and hang out with them for a while and that was fun like we totally like met strangers right right (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> and became yeah. friends. It was the Scotty Mac Band. Yeah, the Scotty Mac Band. They're from California and they were really cool. Yeah, they um, were super great. Another time we were at the Ten Roof and um the singer that got announced, his name was Jason Cross. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we Jason. were like, what? What? Yeah. Like, because our last name was Cross. That's why it's the Cross Legacy. But um, anyway, so after he got done singing, Mike went over to talk to him and talked about how his name was Cross. And then I ended up going over and we took a picture together. We yeah. <laughs> shared it on Instagram. It was fun. It was but fun. yeah. So anyways, his name is Jason He was looking Cross. at me kind of like, your last name's like... I said, we have the same last name, so I had to come talk to you. Like, what's going on? And, and he's like, C-R-O-S-S? Like, Cross? I'm like, yeah. So anyways, it was just kind of, it was great. It was just fun. It was neat. Yeah, yeah. You don't really run into that many crosses. No, we don't. So that was fun. And then we went to this place called Sixth and Peabody. Sixth and Peabody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, that place was really cool. It was kind of like Old Smoky Moonshine and Yeehaw beer are two separate companies and but they're friends so they built this place called six and peabody and they distill there yeah and they they brew and distill there and there's like outdoor um games and outdoor setting outdoor arena there's um and it's just a huge place where you can do like some taste testing and lots of lots of fun stuff there's like gift shops and everything in there but it's a really fun atmosphere it's really cool to, to go there and you can get like tacos and i guess the night before we were there it was the titans game like the playoff mm. game oh, and yeah. they had like some of the drum line was there um playing oh. and then on this huge screen and while we were there they were watching some other football game we don't really watch football very much um <laughs> but they were watching another playoff game um while we were there and that was kind of fun and they had outside they had um igloos and greenhouses like clear plastic greenhouses yeah, if, you like, yeah, if you want to sit if you want to sit in there if it was maybe if it was raining or if it was too too cold for you yeah so that that was fun and then we went to lynchburg tennessee um i had actually been there one time before like 15 years ago and so i wanted to take mike i just had a great time when we were down there before and so anyways so this was Mike's first time I'm going to Lynchburg and we went to the Jack Daniels distillery hey so we are like live from Lynchburg Tennessee we just got done with the Jack Daniels store and this is like the general store right behind us but anyways Mike was all kind of bummed when we got over here besides for the store that we were in and out of really quick like everything is closing down but I'm going to do like a circle here so you can see behind us and what we're at but I'm like oh my gosh like this is the blogger's dream like everything's closed down and it's like a movie set so if you look behind me here we just got done with jack daniels this is like the store and then there's all these cute little buildings there's mike hey <laughs> and there's just this cute little general town little area all the stores are closed and this is the um courthouse yep courthouse like that was really old i can't remember since yeah, the civil so war much old. history we just don't have that much history in washington we don't because the state's like so much newer but anyways we just thought it was fun there was just all these cool little bit video buildings that we we're going to take videos of oh and the sunset here let me turn around a little bit 
There you go. Oh, sunset, blue skies. Warmed up today, too. <laughs> I know, yeah. It was like 19 degrees the first day we were here, and it was snowing. It was crazy. And then um, today, it's like 56. Now it's like in the 50s, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's way nice um, today compared to what it was. We've been having a blast. We decided <laughs> <laughs> to stay an extra day um, so we could celebrate our, my birthday down here and get to do some fun things. Anyways, so it's just really nice that there hasn't been very many people around and so we've been able to just really enjoy our time and not stress out and um we've just all the history down here is just so crazy we've just been having such a great time anyways there's mike again hey <laughs> yeah the history is great it's been really it's been really fun having a great time here you sound like it no i'm just saying like we're having a great time <laughs> <laughs> We're like an hour and a half away from where our um, Airbnb is back in um, the Nashville area. Yeah, but, a bit of a drive, but yeah, it's totally so pretty. Fun. Yeah, so nice. I don't even really drink that much. I just think like the history and stuff behind it is so cool and fascinating. They are at a certain location because there is an underwater cave um, there, and that's where the water comes from. But it's a dry county, so you can't even drink in the county. And um, I just think that's so interesting that we feel like there's so many rules and regulations where we live and different things but then you like think about that prohibition was you know almost 100 years ago or right around 100 years ago 90 years ago and this county has been a dry county ever since then but jack daniels has been able to still to still there because of this underwater cave and how important this water was just the the history of all of that just yeah. It amazes me. The history is so cool and the and like mm -hmm. just the process of how things are built and how things are made and like the different things. And you would think it would be like and you know, we had a tour, so I don't know how they make it exactly, but like they're they're burning these huge ricks of um, sugar pine outside. Oh. And it's just like they're it's stuff that you would think would need more like preciseness, you know, but it was it's, a, it's an art. It really is an art of like what they're doing. I didn't know when we were there like 15 years ago, seeing those actually being burnt was an actual big thing. They only do it like six days a month. And so um, the fact that I got to see them being burnt the last time we were there and was actually like a special thing, which we didn't even know at the time because when we went, it was like July and it was so hot <laughs> and they were burning. They're like <laughs> pallets. But um, anyways, it was just it was just all part of the process. But to know that like I love anything that's like traditional traditional and where you do something that's like a really good thing and then you keep it the same for a hundred years I think mm -hmm. that's just so cool and that's what things are down there you know that it's they've been yeah, doing the same process the same for thing. over a hundred years. They could years. have changed it they could have done some other stuff but they do it that way because that's the way yeah. they started doing it. Yeah so I think that's kind of neat. So we went to the Jack Daniels distillery one day I don't even know my days anymore and then the next day um, we had this Tennessee whiskey uh, workshop and the guy's name was Chris. It was so fun. Well, first it was a little scary. Um, not his yeah. fault at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. We, let's just clarify. Let's, it, was like, it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but coming up to it, it was like some weird circumstances. We booked it on Airbnb, and um, we had exchanged, you know, information and stuff. And then I told him, you know, like, hey, I have kind of a big Instagram page, and like, can I tag you and like those kind of things. So he kind of knew who I was and was checking my Instagram and stuff before I met him and then when we got the address because when you book with Airbnb you don't always get the address like right when you do something when we got the address and I got looking at it it looked like we were going to a house and then I was just like and you're supposed yeah. to bring an uber home and so I'm like are we going to this bartender's house like what yeah, is going on it, it was confusing we it didn't was know confusing. and so I am uh, I was messaging um, Rachel and I was just like, hey, like this is the address we're going to. And if I don't check in with you by this time, but I'm going with Mike, so I feel safe and everything. <laughs> but once we get there and the Uber, even the Uber knew where we were going. Yeah. But once we got there, it was an actual like public establishment <laughs> and yeah. um, it wasn't somebody's house, but it, it was in a neighborhood that looked just like a house. Yeah, like the house next to it was like a hair salon. This house we were in was a bar. They converted the garage into the bar that we were actually in, and it was uh, it was really cool. Really, it was it was awesome. So he taught us how to make old fashions like a couple different ways, yep. and uh, Mike actually got to stand behind a bar, <laughs> and take a picture. <laughs> no, so. it was fun. He, he he definitely knew what he was doing. knew all, like all the like all the like little details about what makes something 
cool or like some nuances that maybe some most people wouldn't know or like how you make something or why you make it or just like little tweaks that you do on, on these things and the whole experience was really it was new to me so I was kind of Amy was like why aren't you talking so much but it was new and so I was like soaking it in when I'm like learning something I'm not as talkative as I am normally I learned some um tricks with the orange rinds too that I'll probably be doing again in the future so I was kind of excited about that being kind of a produce expert learning more about oranges and then let's see we went from there we walked over to this restaurant called the tree house mm -hmm. and um that was really good I had popcorn with my steak which was just kind of interesting but it was actually really good yeah, there, yeah. well there's popcorn that he gave to us while we were um, we were like is this the a southern it was, thing it what's going the, on <laughs> uh, tennessee whiskey workshop like popcorn was there and then there's popcorn we're like is popcorn a thing i think it was just a coincidence i don't know yeah so yeah we went there and we had like a beet salad and colossal like shrimp like a shrimp cocktail and then we both had um, steak mm -hmm. and um, Mike had some microgreens. Oh yeah, instead of popcorn, I had microgreens. Yeah. I'm like, I'll, I'll do the popcorn. Why not? What? It just seemed different and weird and cool. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. it was good. Oh, and then while we were there, there was another restaurant we went to. It was called Adele's. And it was kind of a farm-to-table um, kind of restaurant, too. And luckily, we had walked in right when they had opened. And so, if we... For the day. Yeah. I yeah. Thought when, so, when Amy said they just opened, I thought she meant, like... It was a new establishment. It was a new place. Oh. But... No, yeah. it was like 5.02 yeah, and yeah, we yeah, had walked in. They, they opened at 5. Yeah. yeah, and luckily we did or we wouldn't have been able to sit because they were booked the whole rest of the night with mm -hmm. reservations. That place was pretty cool too. And then we had went to um, Biscuit Love down in the, what was that called? The Gulch. The Gulch. That's the area you need to be if you want to see the angel wings. Um, what's that it's called? Mural. 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 I have a hard time with that word. If you see that, you probably saw the photo on Instagram, but it is huge. It's huge. It's like, huge. Huge. Yeah. There's like signs that you don't back up into the street. Yeah, because get you know, if you're taking pictures, you back, you could walk, you could back up into the street and they have like things cut off. I mean, it's great for us because we were the only ones there and so yeah. it wasn't super busy. But uh, in, in more touristy times, if there's like lines like wait here, the line wraps around and you know. So the, that mural place that you want to, like everybody checks out when they're in Nashville to get that selfie picture. That is just right around the corner from this biscuit place. I had the best best fried chicken and biscuits like ever there it was yeah so really good. good i didn't really understand the chicken biscuits gravy like all that stuff but it was so good it I'm was probably so gonna good miss it we're we gonna make it or something and then we went to martin well earlier but we went to martin's barbecue yeah martin's barbecue joint that was kind of cool yeah and a lot of these places like you don't really know like what to expect like do you walk in and sit down do you, is there a waiter or do you like stand and order oh it order? did seem like a lot of the so places like, you stood in order yeah so you just go in yeah. order and then you go sit down wherever you want and so you just never know we were just kind of we felt like we were a little lost a little lost that's okay but yeah yeah there was definitely more stand in order and then go sit down places than we're used to but as i said earlier today like we definitely ate out more in the last week than we have in the last two years combined <laughs> like so yeah, we, eat, eat <laughs> we ate a, a lot bit. martin's was cool though because it had like it had a couple different levels uh, two bars it had like ping pong and games and different things it was it was a fun it was a fun place yeah it was kind of slow when we were there well yeah I, it everything. looked like it could be slow. honestly everything was kind of like except for like uh, broadway and even even there, Even we still then. sat down at the table every time. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's just the time of year that we went. Yeah. But it was it was cool to get in and out of places and be able to go where we want and not have to wait in line or. Not Honestly, to... like I don't like crowds, and I've never liked crowds. Not even just the last two years. Like I don't like a lot of people, um, and so I felt safe like the whole entire time. And I liked that we could go in and sit down, you know, at places that we were at and there was not really people around us. And, you know, maybe just going like this time of year is the best time to go. Even when we were at like in Lynchburg, like there was nobody around, you know, we only had like six people on our tour. It just felt really safe for us to go. And, and it feels like you get a better experience. I don't know, maybe a little bit better experience. Yeah, too. it didn't if, definitely if didn't feel like Disneyland. Like <laughs> yeah. Another cool place. Another cool place? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we went on my birthday after we went to the Tennessee Whiskey Workshop. He had told us someplace that we could walk to. And we probably should have walked around the block and then back up. And if we ever did it again, that would be the way to do it. They're not down this alley. It was really bizarre. <laughs> like, Amy and I are walking down this like a back alley and it was getting dark if not dark already and we knew the entrance was in the alley 
to where we yeah. were going. But I wish that somebody would have clarified to like go around the block and only go a little like 20 feet into the alley and not like the whole block of yeah, alley. Yeah, we had no idea. That's so true. stay on the sidewalk as long as you can. Yeah, it's super fun though. But the place is? <laughs> oh, it's called um, Speak. It's a Speakeasy Attaboy. It's called it's Attaboy. 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 But it was a speakeasy. And you go into the alley and you have to knock on the door and then he like lets you in. <laughs> and so, and again, my mom had called me while I was there and wished me a happy birthday. And I was like counting and there was 12 people there. Like it was just, it, we were not in big crowds at all, which was mm -hmm. just really nice for us. Anyways, but that was so much fun. And the bartenders there, like, holy cow, knew their stuff. Like, yeah. I don't even know. Like... <laughs> I don't even know. Their confidence and what they know and because about this particular place, there's no menu. So they just talk to you and then bring you what they think you'll like. Like these amazing things that you don't get anywhere else. Like yeah. it just, they were just amazing. Oh, I don't remember his name. Mary Alice, if she ever follows me. And but Spencer. Spencer. Um, we ended up talking to this other couple at least over an hour. So, which again is just so random for me to like talk to somebody and mm -hmm. she even gave me a, a hug at the end. She got up and gave me a hug before we left which is just really sweet and it started with oh what'd you get and then the next thing you know it's an hour later <laughs> yeah at least an hour later so yeah that that place was so cool but if you go to visit make sure you you go around the front of the building i don't know how we walked so far down the alley um we were just following our google yeah i would have walked a little bit further next time and um not walked so far down an alley by myself and and it felt safe it just at the same time like <laughs> i wouldn't recommend walking that far down the alley anyways we did some shopping while we were there i got this cute little sweater and this really crazy out there jacket that i can't believe i bought but it's really i don't cool. think it's that out there amy think as well I, it looks great thanks but um i got that and some jeans and a T-shirt or two. I think only two. You got a T-shirt. Yeah, I got a couple T-shirts and yeah. some stickers. Oh yeah, you get stickers. But um, we went to Boot Barn, um, which we don't have here, and so I was all excited because I had looked at their stuff online forever. And um, there's a smaller one on Broadway where all the neon lights are. And then um, we drove to Franklin, and they had a larger store there, which was nice because I got cute country stuff that was my size, which isn't always easy to find. And so then before we came home, we had to go buy new suitcases. <laughs> so oh, right. yeah. <laughs> we technically only needed to buy one new suitcase, but my bag coming was really heavy when we were on our way there. And so on the way back, we stopped to get one suitcase and they had a matching two. So we ended up getting both the suitcases, but we hadn't had new suitcases since like our honeymoon. So I had been talking about it for a couple of years that I had won suitcases. So it worked, but, but yeah, it definitely was not fitting in my carry on. <laughs> on the way home. And then right before we went, to the airport we decided to stop one last time and get something to eat and we went to logan's roadhouse and like oh my gosh there was like the best rolls i've ever had in my life i couldn't believe ever she ate ever. to roll and they were yeah i think they were great I, they were but amy was like these are the best rolls <laughs> ever had in my entire life i'm like that is that's saying a lot. I don't know. I mean, I, they were they were good. They were good. I can't even really. Oh, I had soup. I was like, I don't even remember what else I had there, but those were all sweet and yeah. peach sweet teas. Yeah. <laughs> sweet teas. I had, I had a, a ribs there. I had ribs at some oh. other places too. Mac and cheese. Yeah, mac and cheese. That's it was. It was really good. It was actually one of my favorite meals out like, of the whole time. I like having mac and cheese on the menu like that. You don't really. We don't have. It's mac not and cheese. quite the same. Well. They have better mac and cheese. Than well, you maybe can that's here. maybe that's why. Maybe yeah, that's you don't want the mac and cheese here. Anyway, so that was kind of what we did on our trip. Um, so and then in the descriptions of the videos on YouTube, there'll be the links to the different places that we went. So if you're traveling in the future in Nashville and you want to check it out, we don't have Aldi's. We don't have Kirkland's. We drove by a Kirkland's and I was like, oh, I've never been in a Dollar General either. We thought we'd have time to go into <laughs> one of those too. So all these random, like, at, at first I knew I didn't you have didn't suitcase. Buy more suitcases. I know, That's I was going to say, saying. at first time I, um, at first I didn't want to buy too much because we didn't have suitcase space, but then I ended up buying two. <laughs> so we went, I mean, we went from everywhere from like Cracker Barrel to food court, yeah, food court, food court yeah. to like farm to table kind of restaurants, like the kind of restaurants that I normally will go to. And um, yeah, the roadhouse was so good. But so was the Dells and the Treehouse and you know, the different places that we went to too. But that hamburger at the pharmacy was 
delicious though. We're gonna pose for a picture. You never know what that screenshot's gonna be at the very end. So <laughs> this is my cute sweater from the boot barn and my Nashville shirt. I got that like right at the last second because I was like, oh, I didn't get a shirt. Anyways, have a good night. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. <laughs>